Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, today I was wanting to talk about very very critical concept in a startup or very very critical aspect of a startup. That is, what is the right time to get investment? From where can we find the right investors? What is the right procedures to get investment? And there are many more things. What are the preparatory things for getting investment in a company? So if I have to talk about Netrins, uh, Netrins was at a phase of time when uh, I was just moving completely from my side hustle. Initially, it was my side hustle to a full-time business somewhere around November 2021 when I realized that I can bring in a lot of change in the teaching pattern or in after-school help for international curriculum students with the right approach. And then actually I shifted my journey altogether from an employee to an entrepreneur. Trust me, as the book says, the e-myth book, I will share the uh, link of the book in the description box. I must, must say this is a must read, uh, you know, this is a must have book for an entrepreneur. You cannot skip having this book. So yeah, coming back to a point. So basically in Netrins, uh, I had started the journey of investment when uh, or getting in investors wherein still I am continuing and it is going to be a long, long process and continuously you need to ra keep on raising a lot of investment. So uh, somewhere around in January 2022, that was the time. Over a period of time, I started realizing for a company to have investment, the first most important thing or the document that you should have is a pitch deck. Now, what exactly is a pitch deck? Uh, the name is, as the name says, it is a document through which you will pitch the investor about your business plan. How your plan is going to scale up, that is very important. How your plan will help the investors to get a large ROI. ROI. And also, the pitch deck includes complete past, present and future view of your business, how your model is going to look like. So I got my pitch deck ready and post that I start, I, 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 went, I approached a couple of investors, they were interested in the plan and then uh, I got, I had to get a get a thing called as projections now projections as the name says it is just the numerical projections of what is the amount you are uh, taking in as an investment and what is the return that you are expecting in the following years so it is a yearly projection uh, for netrins we got a projection of three years ready and that was shared with the investors post that these are the two important documents of course whenever you are doing projections the idea or the numbers are taken from the entrepreneur or the ceo and your ca or your cfo generally startups do not have cfo they have very good ca and trust me it is worth investing in a good chartered accountant even if it is expensive for a startup or any organization because they do help in long run so yes, get a good CA and get your projections ready. So these are the two important documents. As an entrepreneur, we should get ready to get the funding in our start. Post that, the third most important thing that you should have is lot of patience. Because getting somebody's funds in the company is not an easy task. People will ask you a lot of questions. So you have to be firm, yet should have a lot of patience. You cannot just force anybody, anybody and nobody will listen also to this kisi ko force nahi kar sakte ho investment karne ke liye and uh, when you approach investors also they will ask you or they will throw a lot of questions for which you should be honest i would say don't prepare the answer for the question just know the right terminology and honestly answer those questions because i would say that is really important the relationship between an investor and an entrepreneur is not a short-term relation so for any long-term relation in life i believe there should be transparency they are even if you lie they will get to know about it from your documents so just be honest if you have faced any losses tell them if you have faced any profits tell them if there were certain highs and lows 
tell them and also most importantly mention what were your learnings and how did you came out of it any investor who like an entrepreneur who learn from their mistakes and come out of it with a solution and most importantly never give up gives up so yeah this is the f- top 3 things that we went through as the company and we are still going through it which i'll be sharing in my further uh, further vlogs that what are the different different uh, aspect or milestone of an entrepreneur after that i after we you uh, get your projections ready you get your pitch deck ready you get your uh, never give up at attitude ready you start pitching investors you can connect with investors through your ca and that is one of the thing i can tell that you should have good ca because ca do have lot of connects with the investors you can connect with your investors with uh, through linkedin i don't know whether they replied because trust me till date i have not got any reply to the investors through net uh, through linkedin but yes you can give it a try because i have watched a lot of videos wherein people say that you can connect with investors through linkedin third you can connect through investors through your contacts so one of the important uh, aspect i would say connect with some business group wherein you will get that visibility and wherein your business will get that visibility and hence people will know that this guy is doing really good or this guy is uh, heading towards the right direction उसके हिसाब से भी इन्वेस्टर्स काफ़ी सारे अप्रोच करते हैं टुडे आई हैड अ कॉन्वर्सेशन विद वन ऑफ द पोटेंशियल इन्वेस्टर शी वाज क्वाइट इंटरेस्टेड इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शी फर्स्ट वी डिड अ नॉर्मल हाफ एन आवर कॉल एंड देन शी हैज फॉर ऑल द डॉक्यूमेंट विच आई हैव टू मेल हर एंड एंड देन यू नो जस्ट कीप इट एज द पार्ट ऑफ योर जर्नी यू नो यू हैव टू कीप ऑन गेटिंग और कनेक्टिंग विद एज मेनी पीपल एज यू कैन फॉर योर बिजनेस Okay guys I hope this video was helpful that was the learning for me uh wo aaj ye jo learning maine aapke sath share ki hai wo meri ab tak ki ek crux learning hai for my experience of investors also I will be sharing more learnings on this channel basically one of my major reason to start this channel is to for people to understand the exact journey that an entrepreneur goes through and i would let me tell you an entrepreneur who was who was uh, always struggled with the capital who always struggled with the uh, uh, right guidance also ye sari entrepreneurs ki common kahani hai so please don't think that is it, it is only limited to you or me we all entrepreneurs are in the same boat but there should be one strong attitude or mindset which we all should have that is never give up and keep learning i would say so thank you see you in the next video hope you like this video if you liked it please give it a like please share it with your friends if you feel it will help them out and also subscribe to my channel see you bye bye